بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم خلق السماوات والأرض بالحق وصوركم فأحسن صوركم وإليه المصير وصوركم فأحسن صوركم What a beautiful transition He molded you Allah says He created the rest of the skies He could have added He created you too but he's already said that before. He changed it. He said, وَصَوَّرَكُمْ He molded you. Sawwara in Arabic is to fashion something, to mold something, to sculpt something, make a sculpture that's perfect and beautiful. He says, I did a, Allah Himself says, I did a really good job making you. He Himself is telling us. He takes pride in how beautifully He made us. You know what the ungrateful says? Why am I so fat? Why am I so skinny? Why am I so short? Why am I so, why do I have freckles? Why do I have this? Why do I have that? How come I'm not smart like my brother? How come that one's rich and I'm poor? How come I don't have this and how come I don't have that? And you know what happens in this society, especially in modern society? And it's happening globally, not just in America. People start getting old, the hair starts going, start turning gray a little bit, right? Then you notice, you know, uh, uh, wrinkles on your skin. So you, and this entire multi-million dollar industry to make sure that you look like you did when you were 20 and you end up looking like a zombie right but they'll 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 put hair implants on you and they'll stretch your skin for you and they'll tuck your belly in for you and they'll do all these things to you so maybe you can pretend you're still 25 Allah is saying accept who you are I think you're beautiful why do you think you're ugly why do you have to be so unhappy with yourself he did, did a beautiful job with you. And molding is not just in the physical sense, even in our personalities or capabilities. Allah has given each and every one of us certain strengths, certain abilities, certain talents. He is the one who gave them to us. So when we don't appreciate what we've been given, then we're not appreciating Allah Himself. Because He's the one who gave. Just like when somebody gives you a gift and you don't appreciate it, you're not, not, you're, you, it's a disrespect to the one who gave you the gift. All of what we have been given is a gift from Allah Azza wa Jalla. وَصَوَّرَكُمْ فَأَحْسَنَ صُوَرَكُمْ And if you don't recognize that, وَإِلَيْهِ الْمَصِيرِ it'll all be, You'll all be going back to Him anyway. Whether you take advantage of these gifts or not, they will have to be returned to the original owner. To Him is the final return eventually anyway. Alhamdulillah اللهم ربنا لك الحمد بما خلقتنا لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله Allah says in order for you to recognize one another لتعرفوا that is why we kept you different سبحان ربي الأعلى on the globe, not a single soul has the same fingerprint as far as we know. And not a single soul has the same iris print, if you can call it that. Subhanallah, that is the creation of Allah. He says, everybody is different so that you can recognize each other. Look at the term, لِتَعَارَفُ Imagine if a thief had to steal and we were all the same. We'd rather just lock up the next person. In fact, no one would know who stole from whom because we would all be looking the same. Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la. So if we sit and think about it, it's a blessing. That is why never ever be upset with what Allah has put you or what Allah has given you, where He has placed you. Never be upset. If you are big, huge, fat and you weigh a lot, someone somewhere will be attracted to you. You will also find a husband. Don't worry. There are some men who don't like that which is thin and skinny and bony. So Alhamdulillah, Allah has created different people with different tastes. Imagine if the whole world had the same taste. So this is why if you are dark, some people like dark people. If you are light, some like light. Do not be depressed with yourself ever. It is against really the gratitude to the Creator Himself. No matter what color eyes you have or the type of hair you have, or if you don't have any hair at all because you are now bald, Alhamdulillah, thank Allah for that. Wallahi, there are certain people who are attracted to those who are bald. Allahu Akbar. This is Allah's plan. He has kept this in such a way that it is amazing. And He says, I have created you different levels, different sizes, different shapes, different likings, different inclinations and so on. One man's food is another man's poison. That is a saying that we've learned since we were young. If we'd like to translate it, 
sometimes you have food in some area that might taste so nice for the people of that area whereas a visitor coming there will not even be able to put it close to his mouth Allahu Akbar that is a literal translation and it can happen and this is why the different dishes you have the Indian dish you have the Malay dish mashallah you have the cook sisters of Cape Town mashallah and you have the buba we speak about here which is made differently Allahu Akbar it is the milk that is made I think with, with uh, sugar and so on and it, it, I believe it tastes extremely nice May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us from the food of Jannah inshallah because that will definitely be something standard for all of us according to our liking inshallah we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us understanding so look at the beauty of the levels that Allah has created us the idea here to mention this is many things one of them is don't ever be depressed or question why Allah made you this way and this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the very next point I'm going to mention he has chosen who will be male and who will be female Allahu Akbar don't ever question the decree of Allah Ya Allah why did you make me a male don't be upset with Allah's degree if he made you a male he made you a male in order to test you as a male if you are a female, your test is different. There are different things that Allah has tested you with.